I am Samuel Irga and I am from Ethiopia. Um, I am a pianist, Ethio jazz pianist. Um, I started music uh, since the last um, seven, eight years. Yeah, for me, it's really uh, quick to uh, to be in such level and such stage because it's been like uh, four years since I graduated from school. One day I was told to buy uh, medicine from pharmacy uh, nearby the music school, the art school of music. And uh, my friend, while I was in high school, he met me around there and he told me that there is an audition in the art school of music if you want. And I said, I'm not a musician, I've never tried any instrument. Is that uh, possible for me? I told my family, but my father was really angry about that and he said, no, you won't go there, it's not possible for you. You will have another education, another profession, not music. We don't need Asmari in our house. I told him that I'll be a musician. That's my interest. He said no and he just left. And uh, My sister was around there and she told me, it's alright, don't worry. We'll take care of that. Uh, everyone was really happy for me. But actually, I don't blame him. At that time, um, that was the same culture for the whole Ethiopia. Even to name like a low class by the term Azamari. Nowadays, it's, it's pretty cool. On the next day, uh, my sister took me to uh, the music school. Uh, when the result comes, it, I became third from 2,500 people and start the music. When I joined the music school, I start piano for the first time. I've never touched any instrument before. Sammy is a very talented piano player and keyboard player and composer and he's a prodigious talent. Um, he's extremely capable technically um, but he's very open-minded and he's only been playing the piano for now seven years. He's fairly phenomenal really. The album we've been working on reflects his own interests and abilities so it's made up of four styles which you could characterize as solo piano pieces which are Ethiopian piano pieces through his particular take, filter, but they're very much Ethiopian piano pieces. Segment two is traditional Ethiopian music with a jazz tinge that Sammy recorded in Ethiopia. I wasn't there for any of that. Um, very intriguing traditional musicians with Fender Rhodes. The third segment is a full-on bebop, postmodern bebop jazz, really, postmodern bop, uh, ranging from the fierce to the very beautiful and considered. And the fourth segment is a, a crossover segment, really, which is more to do with the kind of music that Sammy likes from the 70s and 80s. So there are your four segments, and, and it's, a, it's almost like the statement of intent for the future.
I got involved in uh, job colleges since I met Nick in Addis Ababa and recorded some stuff there and he brought back to UK. After that, I could be able to find my own way through Dev Colossus and um, I am working on my own album now, so I'm really excited. It's hard actually to decide who will listen to my album, but my aim is for everyone actually to show what I have because um, the album got jazz, funk, um, traditional Ethiopian music, but through all, all the tracks, they can see me and my way of playing through all of them. So my aim is to, to have many, as much as I can, many audiences. I don't know who's gonna choose actually the jazz, who's gonna choose the funk, who's gonna choose the traditional. The main thing from me is, I mean, the main thing expected from me is to, to bring all the good stuff to all the audiences, I think. <laughs> 